be so excited out, yeah. Well, look at this for a viewer. So we were going to try and park up in Stirling, but it was just a disaster. And then we thought, oh, we'll go and look at these. And we are at, we, we say this, keep saying this wrong, don't we? We haven't decided which way to say it. I'm sure it's the Kelpies. But just, uh, just on the outskirts of Falkirk. But how amazing are those? Just wow. I'm in awe. Absolute awe. We're going to get really, really close and have a really good look at them because we're camping at camp night. So that's how close the car park is. So there, there they are there. They come along this little walkway. And there's a Vandra there. If you can spot her. How pretty is it, Andrew? It's pretty spectacular. And then we've even got a big huge moon smack bang in the middle of them. Now that's if I zoom out. Somewhere at the other side and you can see the big huge moon. They are amazing. And they've got like a little canal with some canal boats here and so pretty. How much was it? It was a tenner for the night, wasn't it? Yeah. But there's toilets, you got um buy one get one free on coffees in the morning before we go. There's some shot there's a little shop here. And you got like a proper car park. So lovely, lovely little park up for us. Wow. How amazing is that? Oh, that's class. <laughs> and then there's a whole scale. So, there's a, so of course, it starts off with. But look, but I didn't realise they're actually bigger than the Angel of the North. So, how, how big are they? 2.26.5 20, metres. And the Angel of the North is 20 metres. I'm, I'm so obsessed with that picture. It's amazing. So now we're moving on, not very far. We're going to the Falkirk Wheel, which is something me and Andrew have both wanted to see. Yeah. Um, hopefully, get a take a little boat ride on it. If the boat's we are. We're hoping that we can get on a little tour trip thing. Which of course will take you along if we do. I don't think the dogs are allowed on, though. No. no. We'll have to wear the dogs out again. Yes. That's that little trick. He's get the dogs out for half an hour, wear them out, <laughs> put them back in the van, and then they'll explore. So, so yeah. yeah, so we'll see how to take us. We'll see you then. We will. Bye! So, Andrew's making us, and it is making us. Go on a board on the, sorry, on a, whatever you call the things, on the actual wheel.
very shortly the gates are going to close here and we're going to exchange places with the top gondola directly above your head here. Once we get to the top, the gates will go down, sail along the aqueduct through the pinch point underneath the Antonine Roman Wall, the very very the Roman Empire here in South Scotland, built 1412 AD. It's also a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Once we get through Rough Castle Tunnel, which is named after the Roman fort nearby, uh, we'll get through to the South Basin and we'll do a slight turn there and you'll see the lock gates that go up onto the Union Canal. If you weren't aware already, it's the Union Canal at the top, goes all the way to Edinburgh. The canal to your rear is the 4th and Clyde Canal, the world's first coast to coast ship canal. But before all that happens, just a quick addition to safety. If you can all just check on these seats right now, you can confirm that the number of life jackets is two and we're wearing them. <laughs> right? That's mainly because we work outside the boat here. Because you're inside, you're deemed as being safe. Not only are you going to be traversing on the uniqueness that is the Falkirk Wheel, but you're on a special type of vessel you only get here at the Falkirk Wheel. Locally, we like to call it a Disney boat because it Disney sink. Yeah, right, Andrew. Uh, yeah, kind of. <laughs> Chicken. Do you not want to do this? And there you go, we're here. We may have made it to the top. Really, really high up. We're above the trees. For the next half an hour or so, we'll be up here, 27 metres above our starting point on the Fourth and Clyde Canal. Canal. We're now moving at four miles an hour over the reinforced concrete aqueduct. There's just over a hundred metres between here and the tunnel, dead ahead of us. Each gondola, that's the big tub of water we just travelled up in, holds 250 tonnes of water. When our boat sailed in, we pushed about 60 tons of water. That is the weight of the boat and its fuel and all the people in it. So this is just... Say hi, Andrew. So this is where the boat comes. But we've just found this, which is, but we're getting a double lock, aren't we? Because there's a set of gates there that close, and then get big, huge gates. So what we're getting, they block the water flowing right through so that the water can go to these lines here. I'm trying to be careful, because no matter, look, I'm gonna fall in. To, to go to that lines there, that's the canal. So it comes into the first bit. Then I'm guessing it must come into here. Then there's a big huge step, so we, we must get lowered to there, then the boat must come forward. Then they reduce the water again before it can go out. Ooh. Well, after all this, I'm not going to be able to record somebody going in it. And it's even funnier, because he's either a TikToker, 
He is a TikTok at TikTok at TikTok Live. I can't find his tag though. Closing the gates behind them, and then there's these big, huge gates, and their noses right at the front. Look, look, look. How clever is that? And there's the little boat behind that we're going on on our boat trip. There you go, look. It's opening. Is it wrong that I thought that? <laughs> that I thought they would just open the gate and let all the water rush in? <laughs> Did you not think that? <laughs> You Another great thing about here is part of your pack up, you also get a key for the showers, the toilets, the laundrettes and your disposals. And it's quite out the road of like all the main things. It's a bit of a pain with it being a bit further down from where the vans are. But it can't be the pretty view. Hi, we're Stuart and Andrew, a married couple on our continuing year-long tour of the UK. We packed up our stuff and have gone from pub life to full-time van life. Along for the ride are our three dogs, Pixie, Soda and Luna. We're still adjusting to life in our first motorhome of Andra, a 1995 Auto Trail Scout. Jump in the passenger seat with us as we share with you our travels and experiences of UK van life. So today you're going to join us on a not so glamorous day of van life, I guess. So today we are heading to Greenock. Um, we have a lot of jobs to do today. We need to, we need to uh, oh, I don't know where to start. I've got a lot list, haven't we? We've got washing to do, a lot of washing to do. We've been a while since we've had a chance to do some. So we're gonna get all done today. We've got some shopping to get done some dog stuff to get sorted, we need another gas bottle, yeah so we, the plan is we're heading to Loch Lomond and we, so to, before we actually get up that close, we want to get everything done so that we're not rushing to leave sort of thing, because we kind of want to spend a few days there, there. So we're stuck by Iceland vans on this side and then the DPD guy has just crashed his van into the bollard, so now we can't even reverse out, another hour I guess. I can't believe he's, he's actually like crashed into the lamp post. It's a good job we're not in a rush. Uh-huh. We've been in tighter spots, to be fair. Yeah, but the laundrette went well. Right, come on you, do your magic. Get us out of this space. I want my tea. So we have arrived at our next port of call, which, weirdly enough, into the marina. And this one, we're there, we're, we're... 
this one is fantastic. So it was just a donation towards the RNLI, which if anybody who knows me and Andrew knows that's yeah, easy as we've worked with the RLI for years, we love them all. But you've got like all the marina boats, a couple of motorhomes over that side. We're over in that corner. You have toilets, showers, laundrettes, after we've just done our laundry as well. It's got Wi-Fi, water. Andrew, how amazing is this as a park up? Oh, it's absolutely brilliant. I can't absolutely believe it. Yeah. They've even got DVDs and books, did you see? Yeah. It's, it's like brilliant here. Yes, you've got your showers and you've got a laundrette. The laundry bit which is only a couple of quid service and maintenance chair yeah, well good and of course you've got a gorgeous view of all the boats got a cafe yeah we are happy bunnies so we've decided to be cheeky and come for a wee takeaway andrew what did you order <laughs> i have no idea mixed kebab i ain't had a mixed kebab for ages did you so we haven't had a takeaway in how long? Oh, a long time. And we literally like we parked just over there, yeah. and we were like, takeaway. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. So this place is called Chili Grill, and the menu's huge. So we've got loads in. Is there enough in there? Do you think? Well, we'll enjoy it more than the McDonald's. I tell you that. <laughs> oh, food. It's going to be so weird not having to cook, isn't it? Yeah. I'm quite looking forward to this, Andrew. Uh, your cow's only looks gorgeous. See the size of your wrap? No. It was making it and I was like, that can't be a wrap, that looks like a gippy huge naan bread. Which is nice because we did all of our laundry, didn't we? And then when we got here today, yesterday, sorry, we realised there's a little laundrette on site. So we've put all of our bedding in so it all smells lovely. And so we've got clean bedding, we've had showers, We've got takeaway. Proper showers. God. We're treating ourselves, aren't we? Oh, we just. So, I'll do a quick spin my... So, there you go. Moodle hoob. It's there. And then behind us, you've got all the boats. And then the takeaway. Where am I? Is... That side somewhere. You're so excited, aren't you? How sad is that? that we're more excited about takeaways than anything else. Right, come on then. Let's see what we've got well, to munch on. We, we've kind of seen a peek. peek. A sneak peek. A sneak peek of your... So I'm putting it in. It's that hottest melt of the sellotape. Come on, Andrew. I'm coming, I'm coming. It's like Christmas. Oh, how way, boy. Oh, look at that. Look at the size of that. It's not a small... In comparison, like, where that, where that massive hands. Put your hand next to it, because mine makes it look like I've got... It's huge! But it's not the smallest of pieces, is it? And that's Bacora, which I love. I don't know what that is. It's like a spicy chicken. It's got like a red sauce, a red coating around it. It's really nice. Come on, Andrew. So we also got... Some curly fries. Curly fries to go in that corner there. I can't beat some curly... I've just dropped one. Let's just be sensible and chuck them off. I'm just in chilli sauce. No, that's mine. That's for Cora. It's not, that's my burger sauce. No, it isn't. That's your kebab sauce. Oh, so kebab good. sauce, for Cora, salad. Oh! And then, come on, Andrew. I'm coming, I'm coming. I don't know where I put it. Oh my god! <laughs> I've never seen a naan bread that big in my life! That's meant to be a pita bread. What the? Wow, that. I'll tell you what. So, all of that for just for just over 20 quid. It was £20.90 20 or something. Yeah. That's Bacora chicken. This looks amazing. Yeah. Go on then, give it a taste. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's so Is that really your first time you've ever had Bacora? It's just chicken kebab. Right out of one to five. Six. <laughs> that has to be That's one of the eight. best takeaways ever. Ever, yeah. It, one of those would have done between us yeah, easily. 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 
So yeah, we're all stuffed with a little bit of tomorrow. Yeah. Absolutely lovely. Like even though obviously you know you're driving through villages and stuff, but you've just got like mountains everywhere you look and water and oh it's just it's lovely. Very very impressed so far. Still can't believe the age three. So we had to buy two new beds. So so does later one and Lunette is actually inside the other one. Pixie's just not even bothered and it was meant to be for Pixie. We only meant to buy one, weren't we? So we made it and we are at Rock Lomond, which I have to say tonight, well that we'll have to do some scannage, as you can see behind me, looks really beautiful, it's just gorgeous, like moody skies, yeah, absolutely lovely. There's a few vans joining us, you can see behind us, There's this one here has a piano in it, you can hear him playing the piano all way. We're just up there, look. And yeah, there's quite a few, and there's a lot of mosquitoes. Yeah, let's move out the road before Stuart gets bitten again. The weather hasn't been the best. But it's Scotland, what do we expect? It's gorgeous. Wow, my hand are we at Andrew? Lomond. <laughs> Loss and Loch Lomond. And we've eventually got a nice day. So we parked up in, and I can't pronounce this place, I don't know what it's called, I just can't pronounce it. Andrew, do you want to do it? Uh, I can't, I really can't pronounce it. <laughs> yeah, it'll be going across the bottom of the screen. But I've got to show you this view because this view is out of this world. Look at that for a view. Just wow. Isn't that absolutely amazing? The dogs are absolutely loving it. Andrew's getting tangled in dog leads. It's really weird because literally just there's our motorhome and you can't even see it. No. It is literally just there because there's the police station. But wow. Okay, that water is deep. Do you want to go too close to the edge? No, because it's giving way. Look, I can see underneath. So this is where we are and we've decided on a Sunday, on a bank holiday Sunday nonetheless, that we're going to go for a hike. <laughs> that sounds so much fun over my head. So we've got the, the option of a few different ones, but I think we're actually going to go for the biggest one out. We can have a look and see how I an feel. Hour. It says an hour. So. It says an hour. Two miles. So yeah. So it's a cloudy style climb through the forest to the West Highland Way. So 
Are you ready for this? Yeah, I'm up for it today. <laughs> I've even got my walker boots on. Let's go. So we're on our walk and we've seen this stone everywhere we quartz, but look at the size of that piece. If only if it would just fit in the moment. Look at the view. The doggies are loving it. Andrew's got a sweat on. I am dying, I'm not gonna lie. But I'm gonna make sure I just fill Andrew's pockets with loads of bits of quartz. But look how bright white these pieces are. 